Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to share a solution for you about the FBX Morph Deleted when imported into Icron 8 and Character Creator 4. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step and what's going on about the morph, the morph of the FBX 3D files. So I will show you an example. First, I'm going to open the Icron 7 and also the 3D Exchange 7. This is the older version of the software. You can see if I direct import an FBX, an FBX file, this is an FBX file, a 3D models, a 3D avatar. So now this is 3D Exchange 7. If I import it into 3D Exchange 7, then I click OK. And here I have to click OK. <clears throat> this is a 3D avatar. And if I drag it down, scroll down, you can see this is the morph important. From the 3D Exchange 7, you click all of this, what we call the facial morph. It is really important after you convert it into a non standard avatar. From here, convert to non standard avatar. Then, after you finish the bone mapping, you should be able to just set the facial expressions. You have an expression editor. All of this facial morph, you can use it to set the facial expression editor. It included a lot of the, the facial morph. Right. And here, what about if you want to use the morph animator in Icron? You can use it as well. Before I convert it, I send it to Icron. I click apply to Icron. Then from the Icron here, if you directly click the morph animator, it doesn't have any of the morph, but you can just import it from the morph creator. Just click it. It is going to show you. It is at here. The morph are detected in this block processing auto conversions. You have to choose yes. Then you can see all the morph already imported into the Icron avatar. You click update morph to Icron and wait for a while. You can see from your Icron 7, you click the morph animator. And all of this, all of this morph already imported into the morph animator. If you don't do this step, it is not going to appear inside the morph animator. So usually in the previous version of the Icon 7 and also the 3D Exchange 7, in this step, I'm going to click edit in 3D Exchange again. Now, at this moment, the morph creator part already activated. How to prove? You can see if I close this, start a new project from my iPhone 7. <clears throat> from the 3D exchange, this one already updated by using the, the, the morph creator. If I click apply to icon for this time, the morph animator already there, already completed. You can see, this is just a one-time job. And now I want to convert, convert to non-standard. You can see all of this morph is still, still at here. I scroll down. convert to non-standard. I'm going to do it very fast. Just map the head. Then, the arm and the hand. All right. For this time, I'm going to, to just plot the bones. I don't want to plot the fingers because this is just a demo. So we have to do it as fast as possible to plot the basic skeleton first. Right now you can see for this time I click active and then click convert. It really become a non-standard avatar. 
Next is the expression editor. What we will, we will usually set it. I click the expression editor, then set the eyes. Of course, the eyes I'm going to set it. I click again, convert to non-standard. And this is this is the eyes. I'm going to set it here. The eye. This is left eyes. Then here, the right eye. The right eye is here. You see. Then click convert again. The expression editor usually we will do you do in this way. The head already done. The eyes. We are going to press like this to set set the eyes to make it complete complete the profile. All right, done. We set it. Next is the jaw to open the mouth. We can just find it from here as well. Then usually it's the VSM. VSM you can see we have the AIOU at here. Of course, you can just set it completely. But as demo, I'm going to just set it as simple as possible. I copy, do a paste, paste, like this. If you can set the open mouth at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dance, everything already set simply, simple dance. The VSM already completed. This is my way to set the, the VSM. Next is the muscle and also you can see I blink. I can just set it from the more. All right, where is it? Find the eyes. The eyes close. Now this is a blinking. The eyes blink. Left, set, right, set. All right, this one I drag it down. And here also drag it down. The mouth opens. I'm going to set it as the VSM A, like just now. All right. All of these facial morph are very useful. Next. Consider it's done already. I can just close it. Now for this time, if I export it as iAvatar, click File, Export. Export as iAvatar at here. Sorry. This is a non-standard character. I can target it as Icon 7s because the Icon 8s can use the Icon 7s iAvatar. But if I just make it become become the iAvatar for the Icon 8, it may be not compatible with the Icon 7s. So here I click Export Geometry, then click Others as Destination. I'm going to export it on my desktop. The geometry file name, I'm going to name it as Geroid 01. This is an eye avatar. Right. This eye avatar, we can use it for Icon 8 and also Character Creator 4, the latest version of the software. And let's say now if I test it in Icon 7, click start a new project, I drag in. This is already a complete eye avatar where all the VSAM already is here. You choose the morph animator. All of the morph animations can be reserved and be performed like this. All right. Of course, all of this opacity map can just go and create it. Something like this. Right click copy. Right click paste. It is going to fix everything here. The eye white. Copy and paste. It is automatic generating the opacity map. Right now it's the eye slash. Also here, right click copy, right click paste. And now everything done. And of course you can just save it as I, I avatar from here. Click the custom avatar. Then I can click plus. It is going to create a new avatar here. Right click, find the file. Here, it is here, right click, find file. The eye avatar is here under the, cast, the custom folder and this one can be used as well like just now. Alright. So I create a new file, I create a new project, I can use the eye avatar that I modify as well, everything ready, done completely. If you want to import it into the Icron 8, you are going to import from here, open the Icron 8. 
the icon it and also open the character creator for right we are going to import it into the character creator for as well Now you can see the iClone 8 already opens. I close it, close this. Now we try the iClone 8. Drag in the iAvatar just now. Now you can see all the morph here. The morph animator. All the morph animator are complete. You can create the facial expression keyframe. And of course the VSAM also completed. That's the TTS. I choose a female, a female high pitch voice. All right now, I click OK, and we are going to test the VSAM as well. Hi. I am from FBX. I am a 3D model. Alright, now you can see all of the facial expression morph and also the VSAM morph are okay. Already well tested. So next, we are going to look at the, the icons. If I don't use this method, I just click a new file. This is the icon 7. The icon 8, the character creator 4, right. this is the character creator 4 of course, if you drag in the avatar, because it is generated from the older version of the software like the icon 3D exchange 7 and also icon 8, it is compatible with the I, I clone 8 and also correct to create a 4. So you can see this tutorial I'm going to share the solution about the FBX morph deleted when imported into the correct to create a 4 and I clone 8 now already solved just by using the 3D exchange 7s and also the I clone 7s. You can solve this problem. If you don't have this, what will happen? Let, let us have a look. This is the character creator 4 and this is icon 8. If you directly import import the avatar into the icon 8, what will happen? Right. You can see. If you import the i avatar, sorry. If you import the FBX directly into the icon 8, it is going to delete all the more for you. And in the latest version you don't have the 3D exchange 8. You just have the icon 8 and also correct to create the 4. So now if I click here, I open the morph animator, the morph creator. We are going to test it. Is, is it going to reserve the morph or it is going to delete? You can see none of the morph imported. You are you are unable to add the morph. Close it. Right, so now this is the icon 8. It deleted all the more. If we directly use the character creator for here, drag in the FBX, the character, import as the humanoid avatar. Now it is importing the FBX into the character creator for. If we directly use this, right, it doesn't matter. Even if you don't do any of the characterizations, from here you send it to icon, you send it to icon eight like just now what I had did from the three D exchange seven. The first step I, I just send it apply to icon. What about is if from CC four, I click file, export, send to icon, send to icon. All right. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Wait. I delete this first. 
from here I click file export send to iClone send to iClone from the iClone here if I trade the morph animator none if I click morph the morph creator is it going to reserve all the morph nope it already deleted all the morph so just by using the iClone 8 and Character Creator 4, you are unable to import any of the FBX morph. Unless if you still have the iClone 3D Exchange 7, you can use the 3D Exchange 7 to import the FBX. It is going to reserve, reserve all the morph. And by using all these morph, you can create any of the 3D animations by creating the keyframe of the morph. You can create the lip sync VSAM as well. So I, I suggest you to use the 3D Exchange 7 to import any of the FBX 3D avatar that you want to have the facial morph. Right. You have the character creator 4, you have the icons, but if you want to import any of the FBX that contain the facial morph, you still need the 3D Exchange 7. And this is the solution that really solved the problem about the FBX morph deleted when imported into the character creator 4 and icon 8. And these are the step by step on how to create the eye avatar by using the 3D Exchange 7 and also icon 7. And finally, you still can import them into the character creator 4 and also the icon 8. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial and sharing, if you feel all this sharing and tutorial are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all, so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!